place, a new home for a while. Let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back. Take my time, just enjoy the ride. A new man passing by. Life is good, best I've ever felt. Get me up, so in. Good morning. Welcome back to a new vlog. I'm starting to I'm moving Juan's towel out of the way. But I'm starting to get ready for the day. I need to hop in the shower. What? Juan's calling me. I don't know what for, but I'm gonna hop in the shower right now. There was a wave player talking. Uh-huh. Go. What? Because I couldn't understand anything. It was like worse than the other piece. <laughs> The Rugby World Cup was on and we watched Argentina play. They won! Woohoo! But the interviews are killing us. Trying to understand the guy from Wales. What's going on in there, you know, amongst the boys? Yeah, we know they're going to be a physical team and all that. They always are. So we're trying to find out against Saba. Like I said, I think a couple of haters in our game went over discipline and haters let us down. Let them into. What's the game? That's not English. Oh my god, at the beginning, I got every other word I could understand, but towards the end there, it literally was gibberish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> English, man, not the same. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. for the day. I have like a little light up mirror right here below you. I picked up some mirror products about two weeks ago and I have been absolutely loving them. I've integrated a few of their products into like my casual lazy girl makeup routine for those days that like I want to wear makeup but I also want it to be quick. First thing I always start with is some bronzer. This is Mirad's Bronze Balm and it's in the color clay. Why I like this is because it's extremely smooth to apply and it's even easier to blend out. You'll see it in a second. Take a brush and it just starts to blend so beautifully into my skin. No harsh lines, like it's absolutely impossible to mess up. It's like foolproof, which is exactly what I need. It's semi-sheer as you can see, but it's also buildable, which is great. So I can even apply a little bit more on top of this and it won't seem like I'm caking it on. Namely, the spots that I have more hyperpigmentation due to my melasma, like this little corner, I try to like target it and put just product in that area for instance and lightly tap it out. This shade is pretty close to just like my skin tone so I probably could do like a shade lighter but once I add like the blush and everything like it really comes together so I actually prefer it. Plus for like a no makeup makeup, I don't want it to be like harsh lines for bronzer. So I think I like this shade the best. Next I go in with concealer. Mirat has like a concealer and a foundation combo stick. It's called the Minimalist. I got it in the shade Linen and I have like very neutral undertones and this is perfect. I apply it everywhere that I want. A little bit of highlight on my face. So definitely under my eyes and down and around my nose. I put like a tad on my forehead and of course some on my chin and any spots that I have like some blemishes too. I personally like to use a sponge to blend it out. Using a sponge really helps it to sink into my skin a lot better than a brush does. Just for my skin personally, carry it onto my eyelids as well. Any spot that's harder to get like around my nose, I can just use my concealer brush to help dab it there. But I like this because it has light to medium coverage. It can be buildable, but as you can see with just the amount that I put on, like it's perfect for the look that I'm trying to achieve. It's creamy, it's silky, it's just like super smooth. It really feels weightless on my skin. And for these type of makeup looks, it's exactly what I want. I don't want it to feel like I am having like pounds of makeup and like cake 
taking things on. I think the nice thing about this product in particular is that you can also get it in a couple of shades deeper and you can use it as a contour as well. And then I'll quickly do my eyebrows with a gel. I'm a massive fan of like the laminated brow look. I feel like it just makes my eyebrows look fuller and thicker, fluffier if you will. So I start with taking a disposable like spoolie here and I brush it up. I'll create the fullness. You have to move quick because this stuff dries pretty fast. Once that's achieved, I kind of flatten it out. Make sure every hair is laid in its spot. And then I take the tip and try to like smooth out the top edges to help create the shape. I'll fill them in a little bit. And then I'll even take the minimalist and apply a little bit on an angled brush and go in underneath my eyebrows to help define the shape even further. And there's the fluffy brows. Now let's go back to the face and apply some blush. So this is Merit's Flesh Balm, which is probably one of my favorites. I got it in the shade Cheeky. It's a cool pink, but it's kind of like medium tone. So I'm gonna apply it to the apples, but then take it up just like so. And then I'll take my brush and start to blend it out. You can see it's really easy to blend. You can apply quite a bit of product like I did or just like a little bit, but it's really lightweight, adds like that perfect touch of color. So it's really buildable too. I think one of my favorite things about it is that it has a very natural glow with a satin sheen to it. So the fact that my face is like combo oily, I don't typically like to apply highlight or anything like that. The fact that this has like that natural glow to it, I feel like I get a touch of like a highlight, if you will, especially as this develops throughout the day. It comes in nine different shades and I'm kind of looking forward to getting more and exploring more with it because I'm just so in love with this. It's such a beautiful color. There is one that's Beverly Hills, which is kind of like a soft peach. And I think that that would be really pretty for the fall and the winter time. Look how beautiful that just made the whole look come together. I can take like a little bit of my brush and just like take it across my nose as well. Give it kind of like a sun-kissed look. Try to fake like the sun is still here and around. Okay, let's put a little bit of color on my eyelids. Okay. I may have lied. I think that this is probably like my favorite Merit product. It is their Solo Shadow. I got it in the color Mid-Century, which is like a warm brown shade, but it comes in seven other shades and they have like lighter and darker browns than this. And they're calling my name. I need to get them because I need to layer with them. It gets me so excited to talk about this because it's so cool. So it's a cream, but then it dries down to a powder. So there's two ways of applying it. You can just take it with your finger and apply it to your lid or you can take it with a brush as well so i like to pack it down on my eyelid and then take a brush with like a little more product on it and start to like blend it out i have tried so many other products just like this and when you start to apply it to your eyelid it kind of just like stays put and it doesn't blend out so i am just like obsessed with the fact that this is just so creamy it's so easy to like blend out all over your eyelid but then once it dries it stays put it doesn't crease doesn't move around still feels like weightless and it's again like one of those products that I just think is foolproof like it's kind of hard to mess it up you can be kind of like as messy as you want with it and it just like completely fills out your lid and looks perfect oh I'm so obsessed with this I'm gonna put this on my under lid as well but with this I'm just gonna take it directly with a brush and apply it versus using my fingers like is this not the prettiest color ever oh my god it's a perfect brown okay so I'm gonna put on a little bit of mascara right now for this sort of look I stay strictly to the top lashes I don't do the bottom lashes and then I try to like fan out the sides a little bit and then I apply a little bit of lip liner before topping it off with this lip oil that is also from Merit it's called their shade slick and I got it in the color all natural helps to bring out like the natural tones that's in my lips but because it has like an oil helps to like condition and soften my lips as well it's so hydrating and it's not sticky at all at the slightest kind of has like a beautiful sheen to it that being like overly shiny and then 
voila there you have it that's like my five minute easy lazy girl makeup routine i think what you love about it as you can see like it's still very natural everything is really light coverage you can still see my skin through and all of the pigmentation that i have or any like little tiny imperfections too i like that it shows through but it definitely helps me feel so alive and just like with this really beautiful glow especially this blush so hydrated oh i'm in love with it i also love that it's like a minimal amount of products to achieve this look like this is it to do my full face which i'm so used to traveling around with like a big makeup bag to even get this look all of it even fits into this really cute little bag that came with my mirror products it's so chic you can probably even use it as a purse you can tie it around and there you go throw it in your work bag your travel bag and you have all of your products here this signature bag of theirs actually ships with every first merit order for free and all orders over 40 dollars also get free shipping merit recently did a collaboration with perwenza schooler to make this limited edition bag which i absolutely love it is vegan leather and it's actually reversible too so you have that pretty blue but then you can also have the black side as well and only available while supplies last right now but it ships on orders over a hundred dollars these bags are just like a cherry on top with getting your makeup products i love that they include these anyway i am a massive fan of merit i'm so excited to get more of their blushes but even try like their mascara and their brow products as well because their products are vegan and cruelty free and they're formulated with ingredients that will not clog your pores i'll have all of the products that i used linked down in the description for you but if you want to buy more multiple of their products i would definitely recommend checking out their sets because they're discounted up to 15 percent off i personally love the everyday set and then also the eye sets but massive shout out and thank you to Mirat for collaborating with me and for sponsoring this portion of today's vlog let's go ahead and finish getting ready and move on to doing my hair all right i decided against doing my hair i did get dressed though have on like this fleece half zip i got it last year but it's actually still available i saw that they brought it back this year so i'll link it down below for you but underneath i just have on black t-shirt and then my black what are they called groove pants from lululemon but i decided that i'm gonna leave my hair up because it's kind of gross i need to definitely wash it but tomorrow we have like a couple's massage which i'm really excited about i anticipate that my hair is going to get like pretty oily and greasy so i don't want to wash it today if i'm going to have to wash it tomorrow so we're just going to tough it out for the day and we're going to keep it up but right now i actually need to go to my condo i need to go to my airbnb i had someone check out this morning but i also have someone checking in tomorrow so i have a turnover cleaning appointment today so i need to go meet up with them real fast check out the house see if anything like needs to be restocked and all of like that good stuff so i need to do like a quick little errand and then we'll be back home after that Ooh. oh oh there's still so much time left yeah Great. I, it's one of the best games I've ever watched. Really? Yeah. <sighs> so Ireland and New Zealand are playing right now for rugby. But I just got back and ran up the stairs, so I'm a little out of breath. But I brought home some Chipotle. Let's bring it over there. Ah. <sighs> it's exciting that that's getting all done with the Airbnb. The next person staying in my Airbnb is staying for a month. So it's going to be nice that I don't have to go to the condo for the next month, really. You wanna Yeah, I'll take one. When I was on the way home, I was like, oh my God, I'm so hungry. And I haven't had Chipotle in a hot minute. And I was like, yes, that's it. That's what I want. Doesn't it sound good? Yeah, always. Yeah. It's very light this time, which is good. They usually like pack it. Mine is huge. Oh, yours is huge. Mine isn't at all. What's what happens? Look at the little bit of block that they put on mine, actually. I'm feeling a little slighted. You were just cheese. happy about no, it. No, I know, but now that I'm examining it, I'm like, actually, I would like more cheese. Babe, that's like no cheese. Got some white rice, pinto beans, pico de gallo, sour cream, cheese, and guacamole. And what'd you get? White rice, fajitas, pinto beans, mild tomatoes, is that just pico de gallo? Corn. Corn is key. Hot sauce, sour cream, cheese, and guac. 
Okay, I'm gonna watch some of this rugby and have my lunch. I'm gonna have a Coke. This is like the first time I'm watching rugby and Juan knows like all of the rules. No! <laughs> he knows rugby pretty no, well, I know nothing. No. And I'm like, wait, what? That's a rule? That's a rule? Like, I just feel like things are being made up as they go. <laughs> the rules are kind of confusing. But I'm getting the hang of it. It's been really fun to watch. And Argentina's playing when? Next Saturday? Friday? Friday. Friday. And the semi? Uh huh. You know, wouldn't that be amazing if Argentina won this World Cup? Thinking that we won the soccer World Cup? Uh huh. That would have been kind of impressive if that was to happen. I feel like it's a long shot. But I don't know. What do you think? Because I don't know anything about rugby. Do you think that they stand a chance? Really? Hey, crazy things have happened. Yeah, but these teams are really good. Yeah. The only thing I really know about rugby is that New Zealand is amazing. Mm. This is good. I miss this. Babe, do you want to go to Costco later today? Yeah. Or do you want to save it for the week? Because we need to go oh, to start to get stuff for your birthday next weekend. Juan's birthday is next weekend. How old are you turning again? 38? Oh, wow. Next weekend's gonna be fun though because his birthday's on actually on Saturday. So we're gonna have his friends over on Saturday to celebrate. And then on Sunday, I'm gonna have my family come over to help celebrate his birthday. So it's like he's gonna have a birthday weekend fun dinner thing Saturday, have like early afternoon thing because the Seahawks are playing. So we're just gonna like have people over to watch the game and also celebrate. Are you excited? Mm -hmm. Whoa. They really know how to move the line forward. Mm -hmm. Like they're strong. Look, they like push through. In the Argentina game, like you would hit a wall, like no one was moving forward. Yeah, like these guys are super strong, that's true. Nine-ish seconds! It's a long play. If something happens now, it finishes the game. Go! Oh! Why are you passing? The trick too many times this game. Yeah. They're so close. Oh! <gasps> Not even gonna lie, I took a little nap. What's a Saturday afternoon without a nap? You know what I mean? I think Juan and I wanna go to Costco, so I'm getting ready again to go out. But I wanted to share this product with you. I just like sleeked my hair back into like this little bun, right? It's helpful when your hair is dirty, like mine is, but I still was having like tons of flyaways right here and i got like this new product to try from r and co dart which is a pomade stick and like look how cute and compact and travel friendly this is and i love that you literally just go like this and apply it and then you use a brush like that and it like just sleeks it back so nice. Oh, I'm so excited about this. I wasn't sure if this is gonna work, but damn, she worked. Okay, let's go see if Juan still wants to go and if he's ready. Costco closes so freaking early on the weekend. Like, why does it close at 6 p.m.? You know what I mean? And it's like almost five right now. So we're gonna try to hit it up before it closes. We like to go like closing time because it's a little less busy, especially if we're going on the weekend. like tons of stuff for Juan's birthday party next weekend like tons of like just cheeses and stuff to do charcuterie board more of like our favorite olives the garlic and jalapeno stuff ones Woo! amazing mega mega chips for some 
chips and dip. You guys already know. These are some of my favorite little snacks. I love them. Those are for me. <laughs> this brown wine is some really good wine. Juan got a bottle of Japanese whiskey. Are you excited about that there? Yeah. Some pita chips. And so much meat, babe. The meat. Meat. Oh my, this is so heavy. And I heard tons of people talking about the Starbucks egg bite. I can make them in the air fryer. That's the recommended way of doing it. But I'm really excited to try these. I hope that they're good. Tell me if you guys have like these really large blueberries where you live because they are a game changer. Like these really big ones. They're so juicy and flavorful. And I was excited that Costco had them. What else? Ooh, I forgot about these. Do you think they're gonna be good? We can try one now. We hope that they are. Okay, we can try one. Dulce de leche delight. A delectable butter pastry with filling. And they look delicious. I hope they are fluffy and filled with spinach. Well, he left, so I'm gonna try it without him. Ooh. Yum. And, and, better than the coconut ones. I think they're fine. I don't think they're that good. I think they're fine. We need them more spongy. Mm -hmm. I actually wonder if this would taste good, like warmed up a little bit. Probably. Yeah. But I don't think it's great, like amazing. No, it's good though. I had higher hopes. <laughs> I'll be back down, babe. I want to change. I said I'll be back down. I want to change into pajamas since I've been in this all day. While I'm up here, I'm also going to take off my makeup and at least wash my face and put on that clear stem product that I love to keep on for like 20 30 minutes before applying the rest of my skincare, which is the Clarity Serum. I've really seen like a huge difference when I just leave that to penetrate and do its job before going in with other products on top of it that would like neutralize it. Go in with my clear stem cleanser and then immediately go in with this, and that's all we're gonna do for now. I'm gonna let's hurry up because I really want to use the foot massager and I don't want one to take it from me. Give it a good minute or two. These disposable microdegradable face cloths are like the absolute best. I usually use one a day, like one for the morning and the night because the time that you get to the night, it has makeup on it. So then you can throw it away. But like the morning time, I mean, you just slept, you know what I mean? So it's not like that dirty. But this morning, because I took a shower and I washed my face in the shower, I didn't use one. So this was like a fresh one, but probably gonna throw it away because it has like some makeup still on it. And then immediately pump it in half. I'm also probably gonna ice my face as well. All these at the store the other day pumpkin spice cookies with some like white chocolate chips it looks so tasty so we're gonna have this right now for our movie night oh i hope that these are good really getting into the fall spirit here it smells so pumpkin-y okay there we go
So of course for our movie night, we are gonna make some popcorn too. I love doing this kind of popcorn. And then like with the kernels as well. So I have two bowls here for Juan and I, and I'm gonna do a half of a cup. This is typically like the perfect amount for us. I've been loving having like movie night and making popcorn and just like putting butter on mine. Juan does just salt only. So good. We're gonna watch Gran Turismo, which I'm really excited about having a really cozy night in. Juan took over the foot massaging right now and I had it for like a solid good like hour and 15 minutes. <laughs> Love it. And don't forget, we also have a couple's massages tomorrow. So, you know, I'm just really getting a head start on getting my feet massaged, which I learned that it's really good for, well, circulation and stuff like that, but it's good for your overall health and relaxation and decreasing stress. So it's awesome. I have been loving it. I feel like that's like one of my best purchases of the year. Okay, cookies are in. We have eight minutes left. I'm gonna put this on and move to B-roll because this is gonna get real loud. So tasty. Babe, do you want to come try the cookie? Smells pumpkin y, right? Pumpkin. Kind of reminds me of like pumpkin Babe, you pie. Said two cookies. I mean, six. <laughs> two bites, everybody knows the rules. Two bites to give a verdict? Mm -hmm. The whole cookie to give a verdict. This is good. Yeah. No complaints? Uh-uh. I really like it. A plus plus. Mm. Great for fall. Delicious. Yeah. All right. Movie time. Napkins? Let's do this. Best part of my day. I love having my morning matcha. Rugby is on again. Fiji and England are playing. I forgot to put away all of the milk. So I started trying milk, like oat milk, milk type of milk. And I gotta be honest, like no matter what type of oat milk I put in this, I think that they all taste the same. So, but Juan and I drink different oat milks. He drinks one that's like zero sugar. Which I actually like. I should convert over to that one. Mm. But there was something I did want to ask you guys. So if any of you drink matcha, let me know what matcha you buy and which one you get. Because I still have matcha that I got from Japan. And I have like a couple of bags of it, as you guys would have saw like from the haul. I keep it in this little container right here. But I, you know, that's not going to last forever. Like I'm going to run out eventually. And I'm going to have to like find another matcha to get. So I'd rather just start now trying to like find other matchas. So let me know if you guys have like a favorite matcha and like where you get it from. 
maybe even Amazon. I know Amazon has like a ton. Yeah. But note to myself, next time I go to Japan, I'm bringing back like a shit ton of matcha because it's so much more affordable there and you can get like really good matcha for pretty cheap duh because it's like grown there but anyway easy morning though drinking the matcha watching rugby and starting to slowly get ready before we need to leave for our um massage appointments but i'm starting to figure out like a new setup over here i still need to like clean it up a bit but let me show you so i swapped out some of the mugs on this bottom row for glasses so that i can have glasses for matcha and then still glasses up here for tea we have my kettle right but over here i completely removed everything that was on this so before i had like oliver's food and oliver's treats now i put it down here actually in this first drawer i just pull it out and his food's right here so it's kind of like a perfect location for it anyways and it doesn't need to be on the counter now and then i'm trying to convert this over to like a little matcha station or like a tea station i need to like fix it up some more like for instance i don't really want like this sitting out i'd rather get like a, a special spice jar like one that's aesthetically pleasing you know what i mean and pour the cinnamon in that instead of keeping this out same with the honey i want to do something better there but then i got the these containers i have this one too that i unboxed for you guys i was planning on the matcha being in this but like do you see how massive this is compared to what i currently have the matcha in and i don't know if i have enough space so i'm trying to figure out what to do with that in the meantime i'm still keeping the matcha in this and then in here i was actually planning on pouring all of this collagen that i use every single day into here and then there's like a little scoop that sits on top so i was thinking about doing that and then I love this little travertine utensil holder. I'm using it to hold like all of the utensils for making matcha. So I have in here little electric whisk frother sort of a situation. And then I have two of these. This one's a little bit on the short side. The other one I used this morning is longer. This for the matcha, but then I also have like these really cute wooden teaspoons and tablespoons i threw these in here when i got them but i still need to wash them so that's why i didn't use them this morning and then this is where the japanese whisk sits i think it's called a chosen it sits on this thing right here and then i typically have the bowl somewhere in here but i need to like rearrange this stuff a little bit but i'm liking the way that it is coming along but my hair is so gross this morning no they <sighs> grabbed it Oliver, where are you going? He's going upstairs. upstairs. Where are you going? Is it time for a nap? Are you going upstairs? I love watching Oliver's routine. Like, like what goes on in his mind too? Like, I'm gonna go upstairs and I'm gonna go do this. What are you doing, bud? He's staring at me on the stairs. Hi, bud. Babe, how excited are you for these massages? Go, 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 go! Oh my God. Fiji's making a comeback. Mm-hmm. Babe, how are you gonna wash this and still get ready at the same time? I can't. We need to cancel the massages. No, we cannot cancel <laughs> the massages. <laughs> so because of my Nordstrom status, I'm able to like book these free spa services. Only one a year, but I'm allowed to do it for myself and then plus one person. So I scheduled it for Juan and I, and then I chose the best thing I could think of to choose, which is 90 minute massages. So that's what we're going to do, but it's in downtown Seattle because that's the only location that has um, Nordstrom Spa. Is there, is the Seahawks playing in Seattle today? No. Okay, thank God. <laughs> that would have been a nightmare. <laughs> the game is at 10, 10 a.m. No, so we're missing the Seahawks game. I didn't even think to look at the schedule when I was making this appointment. got back home, stopped at Haps, which is a burger place on Mercer Island. It's so good, but we rushed home because there is another rugby game on right now. France versus um, South Africa, and it's almost over. Haps has some really good burgers though. Which one's which? No nachos, tomato, mass avocado, that's fine. <sighs> Stealing another fry. Stealing another fry. Mm -hmm. Can you grab the ketchup? Yeah. 
The massage was so good, so good. I honestly think it was like one of the better massages that I've ever had. She had like the perfect amount of pressure and she like really worked out like around my neck and like the base of my skull, my lower back, and then like getting in on the legs too. I really enjoyed it. Did you? It was great. It was really good. Yeah. I still have like probably some lines and stuff on my forehead from being in the thing. Ready? Ready, Freddy. But this is the burger. It's kind of plain right now. Why doesn't mine? Oh, the pickles and sauce is underneath, but oh man, they're so good. And their fries are like thick and delicious. So it's a couple of hours later now. As you can see, I have a full face of makeup on. I also took a shower. I kind of just like sleeked back my hair, but it's still completely wet. Probably after we're done with this, I'm gonna go blow dry it. But I took a couple of hours to like get ready and film a haul video because it's the time that works perfect for my schedule before heading into the week. But then I realized that I still have some stuff that I got from Zara that I wanted to share with you guys. It's not like enough stuff for it to be its own haul video. So I figured I would just like throw it in into a vlog especially because it's like a bunch of like sweaters too i don't know i thought that this could be fun i have all of like my lighting still set up here because it's starting to get like really dark early i mean what is it it's four o'clock you guys and it's like starting to get dark and it's like really gray and cloudy so anyways i have the lighting out so i figure let's do this zara is like one of my favorite places to shop especially for the fall time because i love all of their fall stuff all of their sweaters like it's just so freaking cozy so the first thing i got was this jacket what do you guys think of it let me lower you a bit right you know you don't need to see my face you want to see the clothes okay so here's the first item it's a jacket bomber style but it's like that sherpa knit sort of look the color is really gorgeous on it it is long and oversized but do we like that. I think the only thing I wish is that it came lined. It's not itchy, but I mean, I think it's like borderline could be itchy. But if I wear this with like a sweater underneath, obviously instead of a tank top or even like a long sleeve, I think that I should be fine. It does shed like the slightest bit, but I mean, it was also like really affordable too. So maybe it's a keeper. It was $70, $69.90, and it came in a size extra small, small. So do we like this? Okay, this is the next one. So it's kind of a little bit big in here, but I love the length of it. Like this is really nice. It's not like necessarily super cropped. And I think that it would really work with like high-waisted jeans. I'm kind of having a gray moment. Like I've been loving wearing gray again lately. <laughs> Let's give beige a break. This is a size small, the sleeves are long. It's like ever so slightly itchy, but I think that it could be just fine. I love the neckline on this as well. I love me a thick crew neck line like this, like this ribbed line. So this is, I think like a maybe. Okay, this one is gonna be fast. I love the color of it. It's a really lightweight sweater option. I love like the overall fit of it. It's a little bit longer, but still like kind of a crop. You can do like a little French tuck like that sort of situation with this maybe but it's itchy my god i need to take this off right now i think it came in a couple of color options but dang if you can stand the itchy you can get this otherwise i mean stay clear the color of this one is so pretty it's kind of a creamy white it's not bright white it's off white again the crew neck you guys it's getting me i love this look i love the little details going down again it's kind of like a cropped this one really good length i love the detail of the ribbed going right here here, the band uh, around the bottom too. Sleeves are a good length. Borderline itchy, but I think it could be totally doable, especially if you pair a t-shirt underneath it. So I think that this could be a keeper. I like it. It looks like a little bit more expensive than it really is. I got this in a size extra small, $46. I don't think that's bad. So here is like a white option. This is winter white. Same sort of look as the last. This ribbed is thinner at the bottom and it's super, super soft like the sleeves on it. I need to look if this comes in like another color because I don't know if I love the white. Also on this one, there's like this huge spot on the back of it. So <laughs> that doesn't work, but this is a solid sweater option. But you can see it's a little bit more cropped, but it's kind of like a cute length. Okay, my hair fell down for a second. So this is extra small, 50 bucks. Has like these splits on the side. So really cute for those that like longer sweaters, especially if you're tall and you have like booties. This could be a really cute moment. I love the piping on this and the contrast details. 
really, really cute. I like the color of this as well. Not itchy and it's a really thick sweater as well. Wow, this one's, this one's nice. Okay, so for this one, I put like a white tee underneath it because this is how kind of I envisioned this going. I love that you can see it up top and at the bottom. This one, size small, $48. I'm obsessed, guys. I love this. I love the slouchiness of it. I think the extra small was out of stock, so I just ended up getting the small. And I'm so glad I did. I wouldn't have it any other way. I love how naturally oversized this looks and that it's not like too wide and boxy down here. It kind of like clings in a really good way. Kind of reminds me of like a Jenny Kane sweater or something, but like literally a fraction of the price. This one's cute. I want to see if they have this in more colors, but I'm living for this deep charcoal color. I should also know I love that this v-neck is not too plunge and too low either because if I didn't want to wear like a white tee under it, I think that it would still give a really pretty silhouette. Okay, similar story to this one as the last. This is in a size small, same price. This is offered in a size extra small, but it was out of stock. So I just got the small and I'm really happy I did. It gives me that exactly perfect, slightly oversized fit that I was wanting. I love that you can see like the tee coming underneath it. It gives me a very effortless, like I didn't even try sort of vibe which I like and what I'm going for, you know? And I love the color of this. It's a lighter gray than the last gray, but still like a medium tone. Classic crew neck ribbing along the top and the bottom and the sleeves as well. This is a winner. I love the last two ones. I think the most out of all of them. And then I think I'm torn on the bomber because I really wanted that to be like lined, but I don't know, all really good options. I'll have them all linked down below for you guys. And let's be real, I feel like I am on Zara, like, every week right now because they're just coming out with tons of like the fall stuff so now's the time to definitely get online there and see what's going on fun 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 i love this this is game changer like do you see how smooth this is so soft I'm about to make some tea right now. The cinnamon orange black tea. We picked it up a couple of weeks ago when we visited Bainbridge Island. It smells so good and I'm definitely in the mood for it. So I'm going to give it a go. But because it's loose tea, I'm going to put it in like one of these little ball things for steeping. When we were waiting to go into Nordstrom, it actually didn't open until 11 and our appointment was at 11.15 so we couldn't even go inside. So we had to like walk around for a minute. Fun, don't go anywhere. We um, were walking around downtown Seattle and Uniqlo was open. So we went in and we saw like these pants, these pajama pants. They have like tons of like flannel options like with the plaid and stuff like that. But these gray ones really caught my eye and because Juan wears his flannel pants, you guys know, the vlog fam knows. He wears his flannel pants all the time. I wanted him to have another option. I mean, it doesn't go with this gray shirt, so ignore this. <laughs> but they're great. The quality of these are amazing. It's like a thick, soft material. Like it's really nice. It has two pockets on the back and on the butt. And then the fly is actually a zipper too. But I really liked him for him that I obviously wanted to match. So I got them. He got it in a size large. So he actually ended up sizing up. And then the size small fits really well. Like even lengthwise, it's not too long. And like the waist is really nice. Yeah. And so, they are not that thick. Yeah, really. Super nice. So him and I, a little matchy matchy, but I'm glad that he has another option of a lounge pant to wear. <laughs>